Hello, everyone who's here and joining us. It is an absolute honor to be here with changemakers and artists and activists supporting a cause that is essential and dear to me and dear to everyone who's here today. Um, I know when I reflect on my journey that my path has been set up for me by women whose efforts came before, and I feel a tremendous privilege to be able to do the same. Now, I was born and raised in the United States, but my parents are political refugees from Romania. And ever since I was young, it was impressed upon me that the opportunities available and the expectations for my mother were quite different from my father. Same was true for my grandfather and for my grandmother. So um, growing up here, I had sort of your run of the mill stereotypes and none of them, however, prevented me from being able to pursue what I wanted to do and to follow my passions and to follow them, as somebody said, to the best of my ability, to the highest degree. Um, and for this, I'm extremely grateful, but I'm keenly aware that this isn't the case for every girl out there. And that only makes me hungry for the fight. Um, I currently teach all girls and have for the last eight years. And the amazing thing about being in a school full of young women is that the class president is always a girl. The best athlete on the team is always a girl. The best student in science is always a girl. And so I was thinking about these things as I was asked to write a poem for today. And occasional poems are hard because you want to say a lot on the subject, but you still want to bring it to life and make it palpable to people. So um, as these things often happen, I happen to come across an article about an astronomer named Maria Mitchell, who was the first female astronomer in the United States. And that got me thinking, and this was in the 1800s, by the way, mid 1800s, it got me thinking, is it really possible that she was the first female astronomer in the United States? That seems quite late. I'm sure there were many, many women studying subjects who didn't get the title of first. So that was on my mind. Um, and this is a poem dedicated for her and dedicated for all girls. The Art of Stars. What the history books neglect is that the first astronomers were women gazing up at depths and wishing for a different planet, pleading with pinpricks for the flicker of a promise, an abacus or alphabet, a way out of a fate that seemed written not in stars but stone. So alone were the women, they invented a language for each other, and for light. Perched atop the roof of her father's business, Pacific National Bank, Maria Mitchell discovered the first American comet. Leave it to a woman gazing out the window of the universe to see a racing fire splitting the sky. She opened schools to train girls in math and science, fought against slavery and for suffrage. She knew that hope must leave a trail, a glow that can be followed, a lamp by which the past can write itself forward. Every woman I've known carries three futures inside her, the one forged from the present's patience and the longed for one hung on what might be, if only. The third imaginary imminence of a child's if she chooses, our human history in short, like a star awaiting its turn in the firmament. Imagine carrying all of these tenses inside you and learning the ones who came before you kept you from learning at all. They feared your brilliance, your way of reading the sky for signs of falling, the spaces inside you, the opposite of empty. They could not believe what was so obvious, that your silence was capable of moving mountains. Your arms were strong as invisible threads that guide one orb around another. For what is a star, if not proof, that what we think we know and see is larger, darker, warmer than it is. Each woman is a list of unacknowledged achievements to live after bearing life, to outstrip every opportunity for death, to look and see the infinite for what it is 
an emptiness filled to the brim with light. And who time and time again but girls will save us. Bless their shoulders that carry the planet and the heavens and the stars which are their art. Thank you. Back to you, Temme.